Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program to find the factorial of a number using function in C. So let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now we are going to write wide main function curly open brace and here I am going to declare the function that is function prototype int is a return type then here factorial is a name of the function and inside the bracket I am going to pass one argument of type integer and put semicolon. So here in a single line command I am going to write this is function prototype. Now, we are going to declare the variables which are necessary and which are to be used in the program. So, n is a number and fact is a variable which is used to calculate factorial of a number. Next, I will write CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen and now we are going to ask the user to enter the number using printf function. In a double quotation mark, I am going to write enter the number. So end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scanf function. Here in a double quotation mark I will write percentage %d that is a format a specifier of type integer end the double quotation mark put comma ampersand of n and semicolon. Now we are going to write a function call and here we are going to uh, equate that function call with this particular variable. So I am going to write fact is equal to next name of the function is factorial I'm going to write factorial and we are going to pass this argument n and put semicolon now we will write printf statement so in a printf I'm going to write percentage d and then exclamation mark is equal to that is that is uh, representing factorial is equal to percentage d end the double quotation mark put comma n so this percentage d is associated with the variable n so whatever the value is stored in n that will be printed here for example if i enter 5 so 5 factorial is equal to percentage d next comma here i'm going to write function call is assigned to fact variable i'm going to write that fact variable and put semicolon here we'll write get ch function curly closing brace for this main function. Now it's time to define the function. So here we have got function call. Now we are going to uh, def define this particular function declaration over here. So we'll write int factorial and inside of the bracket we are going to pass integer type of variable n. Now we will write curly open brace that indicates this is the beginning of body of a uh, function definition and now we are going to declare some local variables local variables means the variables which ca which are uh, uh, accessible within this particular function definition now i'm going to take f is equal to 1 that is factorial is equal to 1 comma i and semicolon so let us take the looping structure for i is equal to 1. Why 1? Because we are going to uh, multiply the number up to 1 in case of factorial of a number. So that is the reason i is equal to 1. Next we will write i is less than or equal to n and then i plus plus. Here we will write factorial of a number f is equal to f into i and put semicolon and here you can see it is a function that returns integer type of data. So here I am going to write return f because f is a variable that is holding the final result. Next curly closing brace indicates this is the termination point of this function definition. So let us take an example. Here I am going to write output. You can see when we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the number. So I am going to write enter the number so for example i'm going to enter 5 so n is equated with value 5 here next 
we have got a function call fact is equal to factorial of n so factorial of 5 so automatically control jumps from this function call to function definition and it is going to execute all these statements now you can see here for i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to n so i is 1 and n is 5 so 1 is less than or equal to 5 condition is true once the condition is true this particular expression will be evaluated so i'll write f is equal to f is what it is equated with value 1 1 into i for the first time it is 1 1 into 1 is equal to 1 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 so 2 is less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true again this particular expression will be evaluated so now f value is 1 into i value is what it is 2 correct so now 1 into 2 is 2 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is i is 3 3 is less than or equal to n value is 5 so 3 is less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true again f is equal to f into i will be performed so here f value is what now it is 2 into i value is 3 so 2 3 is a 6 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 4 4 is less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true once again this expression will be uh, evaluated so here you can see f value is 6 now 6 into i is 4 so 6 4 is a 24 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 5 5 is less than or equal to 5 yes it is true again f is equal to 24 is f value into i is 5 so 24 5 is a 120 so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 6 6 is less than or equal to 5 no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of this looping structure and then it is going to execute the next statement so next statement is what it is returning the value stored in f variable the value stored in f variable is 120 back to main function so it is going to print percentage d factorial is equal to n value so n value is what 5 so i'll write 5 this factorial is equal to will be printed as it is and percentage d fact value so here it is assigned with this function call okay so fact is holding 120 so 5 factorial is equal to 120 will be printed now let us run this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in a turbo c plus plus compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error i'll press enter let us run this program by pressing control f9 here it is asking the user to enter the number for example i'm going to enter 5 and then press enter here it is showing 5 factorial is equal to 120. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.